Hey everybody, I'm going to be doing um, chicken alfredo tonight and um, this is a repeated video. Um, I have a video already on this um, cooking recipe but it's really deep into my videos and um, just to, um, this is like a something for my subscribers, my new subscribers or anybody who just doesn't want to go deep into my videos or have forgotten that I have this video. So anyway, um, I was doing this tonight, thought of doing this tonight, and I thought of, I said, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to record it all over again and do it again. Um, just an updated version. So anyway, this is the chicken that I'm going to be using. This is regular breast, um, chicken and boneless. And I already started to clean and chop it up in little chunks. I took all the, whatever fat was in it. And, um, as you can see, I cut it in chunks. And um, this is the sauce that I'm going to be using. I got this from BJ's. This is Bertoli Alfredo sauce with aged Parmesan cheese. So um, this is also made with fresh cream. That's what it says right here. Anyway, um, I think we paid $8 for this. Um, three bottles. Um, and they're all, let me see, 15 ounces each, which is not bad at all. Um, anywhere for, I think it was $8, seven to $8 we paid for this in BJ's and this is awesome. So this is what I'm going to be using as the sauce and, um, that's it guys. I'm going to show you next. I'm going to continue to chop this off, you know, chop it up in pieces like I did here. And, um, I will show you how I season the meat. All right. So now the meat is all chopped up. And I'm going to, I'm going to season the meat. As always, I use my adobo. And like I always say, you add the amount that you like according to your liking, your taste. May I remind you, it is salty. So either you um, add enough to make it um, a little salty or that at least you can taste salt and not add any salt at all. Or if you're going to add salt, then try to be careful with the amount that you use with this because you don't want it to come out too, too, too salty either. So I'm going to use two packets of the Sazon Goya. And I'm also going to be using um, one tablespoon of vinegar if I can open the bottle Ugh. okay yeah so one tablespoon of vinegar and I'm gonna mix it all up now at this point, I have the saucepan or the, the pan that, I, that I'm going to be using to the pot, the pan, whatever you want to call it, that I'm going to be using to cook this. It's already on um, high flame. And um, I'm going to add, um, where is it? I'm going to add some olive oil. That's like maybe two tablespoons of olive oil. Then I'm going to add my um, homemade sofrito. I'm going to leave the link to it in the description box of how I make my sofrito. Look at it. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. I'm going to add two of these. Two of these. And I'm going to let it simmer for a minute. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's already, um, the whole house is already smelling of it, believe it or not. You, as soon as, um, I've heard people that pass by my window, the neighbors, and they've actually told me that they can smell my sofrito through outside when they pass outside, um, the building. So yeah, I'm going to have it on high flame for just a minute. And um, 
um, this sofrito, it has onions, green peppers, garlic, um, a little bit more of the uh, vinegar. I put vinegar in it. I put um, oregano. I put sweet um, mini be uh, bell peppers, um, red peppers, um, cilantro, culantro, and parsley, and um, I put a whole bunch of stuff in here. So you see how it's simmering right now? That's what you want. Oh my God, smell that. Mmm, 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 this smells so good. Anyway, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Oh my God, I love this. Mmm, so now I will add the meat. And I'm going to let it simmer for like three minutes. I'm gonna let it simmer. Say hi, Aura. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> she ran. <laughs> she ran. Oh my God! You had to. I wish you could see her in the background. <laughs> so anyway, this is in high flame, and I'm gonna let it simmer for like three minutes. Let it cook in its own juices. I'm gonna cover it up. I'm gonna cover it up for three minutes and I will get back to you. Okay, I had already started to boil water and I added um, pasta. I'm gonna be using the bow tie um, pasta for this recipe and it's already done. Um, what I did was for you guys that don't know that you're just starting off with your cooking, um, you boil water, you add salt to your liking, not too much, a little bit of salt. And then you add some cooking oil to it, uh, maybe like a two tablespoons of cooking oil, and you just let it boil, let the water boil. Once the water boils, then you add the pasta, you stir it up, and that's it. You wait until it's fully cooked, and then you just drain. You see it's already fully cooked, and then you just drain the water from the pasta. Okay, so... This is done already. This is done. I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to cover it up. And um, this is going to stay like this until I'm ready to use it. Until the meat is already done. Okay, now it's been three to four minutes. And look at this, guys. Look. Look at how much juice it has. It's cooking in its own juice. I did not add water yet. No water at all. Look at, oh my goodness, and it smells so good. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to add some water, and I'm going to cover the, I'm going to cover the chicken with water. Okay, you have to cover the chicken with water. I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. I used a cup. It depends on the amount of chicken that you have, so it depends on the amount of water that you use, you know, depending on the amount of chicken. I needed just one cup, that's all, to cover it. It's already covered completely. It's covered. So I'm going to, at this point, I cover the pot, and I will leave it for like five minutes, and I will check up on it again, and I will stir it, and I will test the meat to see if it's tender if it cuts right through if it doesn't then I will add some more water stir it and cover it up but I'll do I'll show you step by step but right now I just added one cup of water it's enough to cover the meat now it's on high flame right now it's on high flame I don't know if you can see that go down a little bit more there you go it's on high flame and um I'm going to let it um, boil or simmer for five minutes. And during those five minutes, I'm going to check up on it to make sure that the water hasn't dried and that this is not burning. Okay, so I'm going to start the countdown now and come back to you. Okay, it's been five minutes. And this is what it looks like. You see the water already start evaporated some, but it's still good. Now I'm just going to wait another five minutes and get back to you. 
Right. At this, I already took the meat out after 10 minutes. It was cooked after 10 minutes. It was dry, and now it's tender. And what you do is you take it out of the pot or the pan, whatever it is, and you just you take one of these, a smasher, and you just smash it. Smash it in little pieces. I like to do this. You could either do it in chunks as it was before, or you can do it this way. I like to do it this way because it ensures, it guarantees that every bite that you have of the pasta has some chicken in it. So that's why I do it. It seems, it makes it look like it's, it's more chicken than what it really is. So this is done. Now, I'm going to add the pot, the, the sauce. To the meat, I'm going to ask, I'm going to use two bottles. And at this point, the pasta is already done like I showed you. You can add the sauce to the pasta. Or do it this way it just it's up to you the pasta I put it on low flame and now I'm gonna add everything in here like I said you could use you could um, add the two bottles the two jars you can add it to the pasta or you can do it this way either way I thought I'd do it that way because it was faster just for our show purposes you know just to show you how I do it you mix it all up you know what I'm gonna use the third jar because the jars are small they're smaller than the jars I usually get so I'm gonna use the third jar of the Alfredo sauce I like it with so you know I like it to be saucy Cheesy, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So I'm going to use a third jar. Aura says she likes it really cheesy. <laughs> I like it saucy. Yes, Mama. You want to be in the video? So say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi. She whispers. She goes, Mommy, can I be in the video? I want to be in the video. So yeah, you could be in the video. Come. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. So that's it, guys. I'm going to let it simmer for about three minutes. And I'll show you the end result. All right, guys. So after about three to five minutes that I let it simmer in the sauce, it is ready. And this is the end result. Okay, you can serve this with um, garlic bread or um, salad on the side, whatever you choose. But here it goes, guys. This is the end result. Look at how good this is. And like I said before, every bite, you see the chicken? Every bite has chicken in it every single bite has some chicken in it I love this this is one of my, our favorite meals in the house all right guys that's it I just thought I'd share thank you for watching God bless I love you bye bye besitos